Well, the search continues tonight for a young man who got swept away by the American River. The Placer County Sheriff says he was last seen near the Yankee Jim's Bridge on Mother's Day. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca spoke with his family. Eric Aguayo's family celebrated his 20th birthday without him last week. After he got swept away while swimming with family in the American River on Mother's Day. Pues, no lo well, we couldn't believe it. We spoke with his cousin, Hillary Rodriguez, through a translator. This is Eric, swimming in the water on the very day he disappeared near Yankee Jim's Bridge. We saw along the shore something black and we thought that was the top of his head. Rodriguez says the family's immediate reaction was to jump in after him in search until the current grew too violent. Anytime a swimmer goes missing in the river, um, chances are very slim that they make it out alive. Crews are no longer on the ground searching for Eric, but in what they call a continued but limited search from the air. Time will only tell when the river levels get lower. Eric has not been the only recent victim in the raging river. The Placer County Sheriff's Office found the body of 22-year-old Victor Nguyen weeks after he was swept away into the American River at the confluence at the end of April. Both young men were not in life jackets. Uh, there's a myth here that if they were wearing life jackets, they could have survived. That's not true. Musalem says the current is strong enough to suck you under even while in a life jacket. Que no se metan. Just don't go in. We went without knowing the risk. A fun, reserved young man that family says had a bright future, now lost in the river. The current and temperature of the water was just too intense. Don't go in. Oh, just awful. Eric had just moved from Mexico to California three months ago. He was staying with his uncle and cousins. The family now plans to have a memorial for Eric at his home in Mexico when they find him. Now,